So we're going to use this previous function example to lead ourselves into the store procedure creation, just so you can see the similarities. In fact, we're going to do it side by side, or <laughs> top to bottom. I'm just going to paste this code down here again. And then we will create procedure, or create proc for short. And instead of user defined function, it'll be USP, user stored procedure, customer. And typically, my naming convention for stored procedures is name of the table, in this case, customers, underscore the action that I want to perform, and then underscore the parameter that I'm going to pass in. Now, in the case of a stored procedure, the parameter um, is passed in between the name of the pr store procedure and the as statement. We don't have to specify what it returns because that would, if we were returning something, that would just be an output parameter that we would list here, like um, address as a variable character, length of 100, and output. And since we declared it as a parameter, we don't need to declare it as a variable. And pretty much from there, the code is almost the same. We don't need the return statement. The address parameter just gets set. So that is our store procedure that does basically the exact same thing as our function. Now let's edit or execute our store procedure dbo dot usp customers underscore get address by id and we'll pass the id 100 let's declare a variable at output as a variable character with a length of 100 and we'll do at output and output. And then we'll do select at output. So we declared our variable output and we called the store procedure and we said the input parameter is 100 for the ID and the output parameter is this variable that we just declared output that is going to capture the output parameter and then select output basically just means display the value of the output variable which we see is 160 Pine Street which was customer number 100's address alright so that was kinda um, butchered, created on the fly by copying and pasting something else. Let's do one from scratch here. So create proc and we'll call it uh, USP underscore customers underscore get by underscore ID. And we'll just make this one simple. We'll have it accept the ID as integer and the store procedure as select star from customers Oops. where ID equals the ID parameter that's being passed in F5 to create it and then we can execute it 
by just doing USP underscore customers underscore get by ID highlight and of course we have to pass the ID <laughs> 100 highlight and F5 to execute returns uh, all the columns for the customer number 100 which happens to be me Antoine Victor